In this video, I'm going to share with you my favorite blitzing concept for the trips tied in in Madden 22. This is also my favorite coverage defense attached to this. We're going to show you a little mini scheme and how I like to defend trips tied in, especially whenever I'm running the big nickel over G defense. Now, if you are new to the channel or you haven't heard yet, my big nickel over G defense just received a major, major update. We've got about an hour of new content in our big nickel over G46 defensive ebook. You can get the entire 46 playbook, the 335 wide, the 335, the big nickel, the nickel normal, all the bear stuff, all of that stuff. You can get that all in my Patreon membership. By joining the Patreon membership, it gets you access to all of our Madden guides. It also gets you access to all the updates. So if you want to get access to that, it's only $10 to sign up. There'll be a link in the description below if you want to join the membership. Now, what we want to do with the big nickel in terms of how we're going to use this to guard the trips tied in is if you take a look here, I'm actually in the Giants playbook to show this, but again, this applies to any playbook that has big nickel over G. We're going to put our package here. We're going to flick this to the left, our right joystick. We're going to flick our right joystick to the left at the play call menu. You're going to notice where it says packages right in about the middle left of your screen. It's going to say slot corner package. Now, once you do this, you want to sub in whoever you want, wherever you want them. Um, I recommend putting safeties here um, instead of having them be linebackers. They're going to animate better and they're going to have they're you know typically going to be faster and just better in coverage better stats and stuff like that now the other really important thing when we're talking about defending trips tight end is generally speaking especially this year most people are going to run with their trips tight end formation to the left side of the screen or they might flip based on the hash mark what you want to do is you want to come out and your auto flip on off and the reason why you want this off is because it's going to allow us to be able to blitz this formation with our safety and we're going to show you how to do that in just a second auto alignment whenever you defend trips tight in this year it's very effective if you actually use man to man for most of your defenses so we're going to put this on man align option defense on conservative and then from there that's pretty much all the adjustments that i like to set and what we want to do is we want to come out in this play right here weak safety blitz one and ideally what we want is we want the safety to be the blitzing safety to be on the trips side so whichever side you think their trips is going to be on if they're a person that likes to flip their trips based on the hash mark then you're going to flip your play if there's someone that likes to run their trips to the left side of the field every single time, then you're going to have the play like this. If you ever get to the play comps or um, to the field and their trips is on the other side, all you have to do is audible and flip your play. So you're going to hit square on PlayStation or X on Xbox and right trigger. So we're going to come out in weak safety blitz one. Make sure you have that slot corner package on and make sure you are man aligned. And you're going to see here, I'm going to come out in the play PA counter go, probably the most popular play from trips tied in, trips tied in this year. Now notice that my safety, if you take a look here, you're going to see that he's going to move um, all the way down. Now, from here, we can do a lot of different things with this defense. But what I wanted to show you first and foremost, and the most important thing in this video is what you want to do is you want to be prepared for a couple different things with this formation. And I personally recommend to show blitz and you're gonna see that this right side safety is just gonna move over here that's really the only thing that happens and then I like to pinch my D line that really only changes this side though so we can simplify the setup for you in a second we're gonna do that but then we're just going to crash our line out and then what I want to do is slide this guy in to about the hash mark here hit the QB contain button and then from there you'll notice that I can now manually press all these people i could also just press and you're going to notice he's not going to move because i moved him inside this backside safety we're going to come back to how important he is in this defense but what i like to do is i like to bring him into the box and then i'm going to put him in an inside quarter so i'm going to bring him right about where this linebacker is and then i want to use her this linebacker here and then the only other thing is i'm going to man the tight up tight end up with that linebacker and then i'm going to blitz my user and kind of stand Kind of right in here and what you're going to see is this five man pressure is really 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 good you'll see here we're going to get this nice little gap pressure at the quarterback now obviously they're not blocking anybody i'm going to come back to that in just a second but what i love about this defense is again you can literally be right here just move this guy in for a simple setup just move this guy in and then from there what i would do is click onto this guy and as you're running down i would press 
and then from there all you have to do is put this guy in an inside quarter and then you're just going to use this guy over right here just like this and again i like to man that other side linebacker up on the tight end so that i can then be, feel free to use her this guy and you'll see again the pressure comes really fast at the quarterback see how good the pressure really is now another thing that i wanted to hit on with this defense is let's say that you're wrong and let's say that you're the play looks like this this is not necessarily terrible um, you can still basically do the same thing with the slide in and put him on a contain. And then I would pinch my line and crash my line out. And you'll see here that now this guy is on the quarter on this side, which is all of this is not bad. It's not problematic for how we want to play. And everything else is basically the same. So if you wanted to run this with auto flip on, you could. But I'm going to show you why there's an advantage to not doing that here in just a second. As you can see, the running back can oftentimes pick this guy up on the right side. But with the latest patch and some of the things that Madden has been, you know, kind of doing, what we're finding is the play action blocking is not that great if the blitz comes from the other side. So if the blitz is on the right, um, or the blitz is going to come in off, off this other edge here. So what you'll see here, and again, don't worry about the safety too much here. I just want to show you the pressure. But if they run play action, uh, PA counter go. A lot of times, if you kind of come in a little bit harder with your user, you'll either get a quick shed or you'll get a quick instant contain loop that will come in. If you don't contain, so I just want to show you that real quick. So let's say I don't contain this guy. So literally, I just crashed my line up and then, you know, blitz. You'll see right here that you get this kind of double edge pressure. This can be very good. And like I said, um, what's also interesting about this is let's say, for example, that they block their tight end. This is a popular trick that people from Bunch do. It's another thing if Trips guys do it. But anyways, uh, Trips guys can do this too. Again, you want to move this guy right about here, honestly. That's probably about where we want him. And then if you if you don't want to do this quarter coverage, that's fine. It's just really good against Trips tight end. So you just can move this guy wherever you want him. Um, or you could if you wanted to user him. Okay, So that's kind of a decision that you can make. And anyways, if they block the tight end, a lot of times this contain will still come in off the left. Didn't do it right there for us. Probably moved him in just a little too much. But if you get him in the right spot, a lot of times he will still come in. So like right about here maybe. Um, and again, you can kind of you can kind of fill around with it in practice mode. But a lot of times if you get that contain at the right spot, he'll still come in even if they block a tight end and uh, you'll still have everybody manned up. Obviously, you're going to get great sheds from this formation. You're going to have pressure. So you don't have to worry too much about that. So that's, that's a little bit about the blitzing concept and why I like auto flip. Let me show you something else you can do from a coverage perspective. So if you turn auto flip back on, what you'll notice, um, and again, these are subtle little things. So you could run this either, either way. It's honestly fine. Um, but what I like about this, if you do it this way, what you can do, and I'll show you this really crazy blitz. So when you move this guy in, I like to just move him just because it makes it better. So you get the contain right there. When you do that, what you can do is you can actually blitz this guy. And I would not contain. I just blitz him. Okay. Then you've got a quarter here for that guy. So all they can really throw on that side of the field is like a quick slant or a quick zig to that side. So if you wanted to, you could create a zone coverage that would help with that. Um, but anyways, you're going to be using, you know, you can use your either linebacker in this. I like to use her, this guy, but you can use her either one. And what you'll see with this is let's say they're running the play action counter go setup. You see here, the blitz absolutely screams off either edge and they're going to have to max protect. So that's another little strategy that you can do with this. What also is really cool about this five man blitz though, is they have to at least block the running back. If they don't block the running back, um, it's, it's going to be, I mean, you're going to come in. The other thing that is really cool about this though is when you go to press, you have this inside quarter adjustment right here. And if you take a look here, you'll notice if I were to run the play PA counter go, um, as long as I reman up that tight end with that backside linebacker and then maybe blitz my user kind of like this, a lot of times what you'll see here is the pressure is really good. And then look how that inside quarter kind of lurks that guy. And then as you can see here, you got the in route manned up. So it's very, very good coverage from a blitz look if you want to you can outside quarter that backside guy um, so you'd see it look kind of like this 
And then, like I said, you know, you've got this guy manned up on the tight end. He's inside leverage, so it'll be good for post routes. And then a lot of times another popular route combination is this right here. Well, because you have circle and press man, you're going to go with him, of course. Obviously, the tight end's open here. But what's cool about that outside quarter is a lot of times that outside quarter can catch up. He didn't quite get back there. A lot of times he can't. Um, and again, a lot of this, you know, is, is kind of what you're going to use it. But what's also really interesting is you can go now to an, a, you know, a kind of a different coverage, if you will. So let's say you wanted to kind of create a little bit of a coverage defense. Well, now you can use or king. And then you can just inside quarter that backside safety. And then what I like to do is drop the right of screen or the, the running back side guy in a bluff blitz. So the D end on the running back side in a bluff blitz. And then the left of screen defensive end into a vertical hook. So we got really good coverage on anything to that number three receiver. And really all we're going to say is, okay, if the tight end does go across, we're just going to use or him. And you see how good this coverage defense really is. So this is my favorite defense right now for trips tight end. I think it's one of the better coverages and better tactics. You can, I showed you in this video, you could do it either way. You can do it with auto flip on. You can do it with auto flip off. It just depends on how you like the pressure, where you like the pressure to come from. But this is one of my favorite defenses for trips tight end. I want to thank you for watching the video. I really believe that big nickel over G has so much flexibility from a pressure perspective and from a coverage perspective. And if you want to learn my full big nickel over G defense, I would encourage you to get into my Patreon membership. You'll be able to find all of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive eBooks in there. In addition to that, we also update them all the time for you guys. And we also have a ton of other kind of little exclusive pro tips to kind of keep you on top of the meta. So if you want to get better at this game, I would really, really encourage you to consider joining our Patreon. It's only 10 bucks to sign up and there's a link in the description of this video so if you want to sign up just head down to the description and click the link down below thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time